has the same mentality that it can't happen to me. So like those things that you see on the news, like car accidents or house fires or stuff like that that are bad, that you don't even know who it happened to, you just think those things can't happen to me. Um, but I have learned that these things can happen to loved ones like your family and friends at any time. Every 48 minutes, someone is killed in a car accident by a drunk driver, and one out of 12 people suffer from alcohol abuse. From my dad's experience and our children, I have learned a lot from. Um, he told me about an experience, and I've always kind of remembered it. My dad started drinking when he was about 16 in high school because that was kind of like the cool thing to do. Um, so when you got invited to parties, he said that you couldn't really like say no because all your friends were going. Um, after high school, he became a heavy drinker, and at the time, he said he didn't really realize it, but he was an alcoholic, looking back on it. And him and his best friend, Mark, that he had known since high school, had went out drinking. And so they were both drunk since they had been drinking a lot, and they had to drive home. So my dad was driving him home, and they were on the outside of Van Horn. And they got in a car accident. My dad hit a pole and rolled the car, and his best friend was killed instantly. Um, and my dad was injured badly. My dad said that he had drove drunk before, so he really didn't think anything bad was going to happen since he had done it before, but obviously that night it did. Um, when they called his dad, so my grandpa, they told him that they thought my dad was the one who was killed. And when they actually told him that they had made a mistake and that it was his friend that was killed, my grandpa said that it didn't make it any better since that was my dad's best friend. Um, so after that, my dad's drinking got worse, and he had severe depression from it, and he really didn't deal with it for a while. Um, he had lost his job and his wife in his house because he drank too much. He went out to Las Vegas and didn't tell anybody, so no one really knew where he was. Um, he said that he realized that it was time to come home when he was out of lies, so when he came back, he went to rehab for alcohol abuse, and he's been sober now for 21 years. So from this experience, I learned that, you know, just because your friends are doing something, that doesn't mean like it's right or that you may think, oh, it's cool to drink at a young age, but there's like statistics that show that if you drink at a young age, it can lead to alcohol abuse later on. Um, what you guys can learn kind of from it maybe is that, that you shouldn't really take advantage of your life because just because you've done something before, it doesn't mean that it can go differently the second time or that you should always just keep things important to you like your family and stuff because you don't know when people might leave or they won't be here anymore. So like I said that you should just realize that things like this can happen to your friends and family and you should never take things like that for granted.